Welcome to Monday, August 25th, 2025. It's the last Monday of the month, believe it or not. This day with the podcast being brought to you by the Advocates Injury Attorneys. If you've been injured in an accident, don't face it alone. Get an experienced local Wyoming attorney on your side. Free consultations at wyomingadvocates.com or call 307-800-1952. You deserve an advocate. Well, some changing maple trees there in Teton Valley, Idaho. Kind of a sign of the times. The key in the weather is that the pattern that we have been talking about for the last week and a half has finally evolved and is coming together and ultimately is going to be really good news. Cool, dry air will be found on the plains in the central United States, while moist, cool air along and west of the divide will be trapped. So we're just going to recycle the weather. Daytime heating is going to continue to produce off and on shower and thunderstorm activity on a daily basis. And that is especially true today through Friday. Now, as we get into Labor Day weekend, we may see a little bit of an improvement. Temperatures may warm up a little bit and we may not have as many showers and thunderstorms, but we're still going to have some around. Certainly it's not going to be a hot Labor Day weekend in the West, that's for sure. Unfortunately, this is how things got started late last week on Friday with fire activity really flaring up again. This one near Smoot, Wyoming, the Willow Creek Fire, then up north of Pinedale, the Dollar Creek Fire just exploded and all that dry, dead timber up north of Pinedale. Luckily and thankfully, these two fire areas will see this higher humidity and moisture moving into the region. So what we're going to have is better moisture opportunities, scattered shower and thunderstorm activity underneath these clouds and upslope conditions really developed by the cold front along and east of I-25 with low clouds and fog. Nice sunset there up in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Across western Nebraska, the low clouds and the cooler air coming in as well. Nice rainbow activity at Lake McConaughey after some thunderstorms rolled on through. You can see even up into northern Wyoming, the northern fringes of the moisture crept a little bit closer over the weekend. Another shot of the upslope conditions between Laramie and Cheyenne on Interstate 80. And low clouds and the sun poking through there, making for a nice scene. Now, you might be looking at that photo and saying, oh no, not another fire. Jen got a great shot of this, but it's not a fire. In strong northwest winds aloft, which we saw develop over the weekend, you saw the thunderstorms build and grow, and then you saw their anvils cover a long distance, so it kind of does look like a smoke plume. But if you look at the animation of the satellite imagery, you can see these streaks of clouds coming in from the northwest to southeast. It looks like smoke, but those are thunderstorms and long traveling anvils. So thanks, Jan, for sending that on in and a beautiful evening to be out for some music there in Casper with some very comfortable August temperatures. Well, there's your moisture on the satellite imagery this morning. The deep moisture is now trapped underneath the high pressure ridge that's back here and cool, dry Canadian air with the trough is punching in to the north central and central areas of the United States. So there's your water vapor showing you where the deeper moisture is, is. And it's got really nowhere to go because through the course of the week, the high pressure ridge will be here, the trough will be here. And so overall, the general conditions in this weather pattern will basically hold as this is the weather pattern today at 500 millibars where the jet stream is gonna be riding up over and down trapping the moisture here and by the end of the week it's really not that much of a different configuration there's actually another cool front coming in late the week right here so basically everything's going to hold we're just going to kind of recycle the weather and when we take a look at the precipitable water you can see the deep moisture along and west of the divide through the week the dry air on the eastern side of the nation and this loop goes from today all the way through labor day monday so you can see all the blue and the dark green over areas that just haven't had that this summer. At least this goes multiple days. And as we mentioned last week, this is a multiple day event. Some days you'll get rained on, other days you may not, but they're going to be out there. And the general thunderstorm pattern looks like this, where the deeper moisture is going to be. You don't tend to see severe weather in this type of pattern, basically because of the lack of strong heating and really nothing aloft to really get thunderstorms to get strong. So the general thunderstorm pattern is gonna be underneath that moisture here for the next three days. 
Look at these totals of precipitation between now and next Monday. So this is for the next week. So for the next week, precipitation chances are looking good across the interior west. So that will be a trend that continues through the next seven days and might even go a little bit longer than that in some areas as the weather pattern will stay active. This is the seven day temperature anomaly. So this is Monday to Monday from today through next Monday. The general coolness is pretty dominant, except in Western Canada, the Pacific Northwest, the Central Valley of California there. But overall, it's not only cool in the West and the Plains, but the whole lower 48 over the next seven days. Look at all that green there in the nation's midsection. You know, sometimes late August can be the absolute opposite of this, but it's going to be rather pleasant temperature wise. And as we go forward, this is for Friday, as we showed you earlier, by September 4th, just pushing out a little bit further. This is about 12 days out from now. What we see is something we were hinting at last week. There wants to be another intrusion of colder Canadian air once we get into the first, let's say, after the 4th and 5th of September, something that we're going to keep an eye on. Have yourself a great Monday. We'll see you tomorrow.